Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce Multi Window Marketplace Single Seller Checkout Plugin. And in today's video tutorial, we'll be showing you how uh, the customers of the WooCommerce store would be able to check out with a single seller's product and uh, how the admin would be able to restrict them uh, to add multiple seller products into the cart. So uh, we'll be showing you the front-end workflow and thereafter we'll be showing you the back-end configuration that is required for the same. And uh, apart from that, uh, multiple sellers would not be added to the cart and this uh, basically makes an accurate commission distribution to the admin for the orders. So uh, let's get in and let's see how this particular uh, plugin works. So for that, uh, we'll take you to the web store front-end first uh, and then we'll be showing you the back-end module configuration as well. So right now I'm at the uh, front end of the WooCommerce Marketplace uh, store right now. So I'll be logging into the uh, customer account. So for that, I'll just tap uh, on the login button here under the login section. So as to log into the customer account first. So right now I have logged into my customer account. So now what I'll be doing is I'll be uh, adding uh, one product uh, from one seller and one product from another seller so uh, that way i'll be adding two products from two different sellers and let's see what happens thereafter so uh, to add two products from two different sellers what i've done is i've uh, come up to the shop page here for the woocommerce uh, marketplace store and here uh, the very first uh, product that we have and the second one these are from two different sellers so what i'll do is i'll tap on the add to cart button for this album product and we'll see that uh, all right it has been added to the cart now let's go ahead and let's start, try and add this particular product to the cart as well so i'll tap on the add to cart button all right now you can see a uh, uh, message is there that uh, at a time you can add only single sellers products into the cart so that means uh, that uh, that at this time the functionality for the single seller checkout is working and uh, the customers would only be able to make a checkout with a single seller's product so uh, the customers can add multiple products of a single seller and can make a check checkout thereafter but they cannot add multi product multiple products from multiple sellers at the same time and cannot make a checkout uh, with them so uh, now let's get ahead and let's add one more product uh, to my cart and let's see whether we are able to add that or not so let's tap on the add to cart button here all right so for this product as well we're not able to add it to the card because uh, this is from another seller as well so uh, that was uh, basically how uh, the admin can restrict the, uh, the customers from adding multiple products from multiple sellers at the same time and can restrict them to make a checkout so uh, the customers just can add multiple products from a single seller at a time and can make a checkout thereafter so uh, i've added this uh, single product into my cart and now let's do a single seller checkout so for that i'll be tapping on the checkout button here and we'll be redirected now to the checkout page so here we have one product that's album and uh, i'll just tap on the place order button here to place an order for this particular single seller product so as to make a checkout thereafter because uh, the admin has set up the single seller checkout functionality within the store so right now we can see that uh, the order has been received and it's uh, and the order details as well with the uh, billing address as well so that was how the admin can restrict the uh, customers from adding multiple products from a single seller at a time and how the customers can only make a checkout uh, with a single seller's product or single seller's multiple products uh, with them the customers can easily make a checkout so uh, now let me take you to the back end and let me show you what different configuration settings are there for this uh, WooCommerce multi vendor marketplace single seller checkout plugin so for that let me take you to the back end panel now so here I'm at the uh, WooCommerce uh, web store back end right now so I'll be logging into the uh, back end uh, as the admin so I'll tap on the login button for that and uh, after we have logged in we can configure the uh, single seller checkout so for that what the admin needs to do is after that the admin needs to navigate to the marketplace here 
uh, many option and under that uh, we have the settings so on the settings page uh, under the configuration tab we'll need to scroll a bit down and here we have the option that is enable single seller checkout so if uh, the admin has checked this option then the single seller checkout feature would be enabled within the web store otherwise if you have unchecked this and then you have saved the changes then the customers would be able to make a checkout uh, at the web store front end uh, along with the multiple seller products otherwise if you want to restrict them to only make a checkout with a single seller product then you can check this option and then save uh, the configuration settings for the marketplace under the settings and that is the under the configuration tab there so that was much about the WooCommerce multi-window marketplace single seller checkout plugin and I hope this functionality helped you out and if you have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.